I'm in a typical Midlands machine shop and the story today is about the relationship between a buyer and a supplier. I'm here at RK Engineering in Atherston. I'm going to meet with Keith in a minute who's going to tell us why over recent years he spent so much money on this popular brand of machines. One of the latest machines they bought is here behind me which is the T7A and that is a turning centre that has been bought for a specific application. But we'll find out a bit more about that and the other machines as we move around the machine shop. MTD CNC, bringing you the latest engineering news, reviews, events and special offers via video media. So I'm in the second of their four units here, and this is quite interesting in here because this brings back memories from, from me being a machinist. Actually, here to the left of me, we've got one of the first Levwell machines that they actually bought. Uh, this has actually got a fourth axis on it, but when we have a look at the new machine shortly, you'll get a flavour for the difference between the old technology and now what's offered by lead precision machine tools on new machines. So now we're into the third machine shop here and again still lots and lots of Lebwell machines. We've got a V30 machine uh, here, we've got a V650, both slightly older vertical machining centres and to support that we've got horizontals to the left as well. We don't often see many horizontal machining centres in subcontract machine shops like this and in fact this is the guy we need to speak to because this is Keith who's the managing director. He's going to tell us what he likes about the uh, Lebwell machines. Keith. Keith, good afternoon. How are you doing? I'm all, right, I'm all right, mate. Thank you. Good, good. It's, it's a great facility you've got here. We're obviously here on behalf of Lead Machine Tools. Yep. You don't come in many machine shops and see such a high proportion from one supplier. So what, why is that? Well, I met Mike Epi about 20 years ago. To get to know him really well, I had to buy machines off him. That's a shame. Yeah. So it costs you money? It's cost me money every year for 20 years, yeah. But it's been an investment rather than a cost. When you look at what you've spent and what you, how you've grown the business, has it been a part of that growth? Oh, definitely, yeah. Yes. I was joking, and obviously, but uh, no, Mike's been great to us. They always does me a good deal, be it under the deposit or in the finance, he always helps us out. Um, and, and once you have the machines, obviously it's important to make sure you keep those spindles turning because that's the nature of what you do. If you've got any issues, Obviously, the fact you've got 19 or 18 machines, they obviously sort it quickly for you. They sort it quickly, yeah, believe me, yeah. Be, yes, yeah, so they certainly do. And behind us here, quite apt, but we've got the latest machine, the 32i. Yeah. When did you buy this and what was the reason for it? This was bought um, about two or three months ago. It was bought to do a specific job where we needed more accuracy. The other machines are now a little bit older, and for this particular job, we needed more accuracy so when I was walking through machine shop number one you've got a T7 there as well that bought about the same time that was bought uh, in September last year for part of the same uh, inquiry which uh, we needed to turn and we needed to mill and so you are turning and milling here is is that is that your strength yeah that's what we do turn mill drill and with the four factories you've got, will that ever be five or six, or do you see maybe you're getting more technology into this, into a smaller area, maybe? I don't think we're going to grow any bigger volume-wise, but uh, or size-wise, but I certainly intend to update all of the old machines over the coming years. Yeah. Okay, brilliant, Keith. Thank you very much. I'll let you carry on and uh, and, and check the next workpiece, maybe. Who knows? So there we have it, a brilliant endorsement from Keith here at RK Engineering. I think you've probably seen from the last couple of minutes on the video that there's a, it, it's a real story of one company that's invested a lot of money in one supplier, and it's been a real success for both parties. For more videos, products and news, go to mtdcnc.com or follow MTD Online on Twitter.